Hello, boring vlog people. How are you this fantastic, splendiferously amazing Saturday? Me? Oh, I'm just dandy. I'm sitting in Los Angeles traffic going down to San Diego. Look at this. You ready for this? Gotta flip it around. Oh, look, traffic. Oh, except all the other lanes are kind of moving in that motorcycle jerk, but not the lane that I'm in. Woohoo! Yay for not moving anywhere at any certain speed that's faster than zero. Woohoo! Uh, but yeah, so I'm going down to San Diego, uh, so that's going to be fun, tons of fun, so much fun. That Subaru that was in front of me had the right idea. Get in the other lanes that are moving. I wonder if there's an accident or something in this lane. It wouldn't be too far-fetched, considering there's always accidents. People always crash, because they don't know how to drive. Uh, but yeah, so just driving down there, and it's funny, because uh, I saw a Rolls Royce on the other side. And then you think of the other day when I was driving down the street and I saw Rolls Royce and I was like just checking out the car the whole time. But then afterwards I realized I should have looked at who was driving it. Because now that like up in the LA Burbank area, it's like that could have been somebody famous. Whereas back in San Diego, there's like, there's just tons of rich white, no, not necessarily white people, but there's just a bunch of rich people in general. Uh, like, I guess there were football players and stuff that might have nice cars, but when I saw a nice car in San Diego, it's like, oh, okay, that's just some old rich dude, or some lucky younger rich dude, uh, not necessarily anybody famous, because, I mean, not many famous people live in San Diego that I know of anyway, that I've, I've never really seen any famous people. But uh, I thought about it, I was like, yeah, I should have looked at who was driving that Rolls Royce, because it could have been some, like, awesome rapper, or, like... I don't know, somebody famous just in general. I just assume rapper because I, I would assume that they would be driving around in a Rolls Royce. Especially if it was Rick Ross, like, driving in my Rolls Royce because I'm Rick Ross. Boat! Yeah, yeah, that's my Rick Ross impression. Impression. Ah, that's how you say words. Uh, but yeah, so I just thought about that and I thought, next time I see a really nice car, which, I mean, there's nice cars like all over up here. Maseratis. I haven't seen many Ferraris. I think I've probably seen a couple. That one Rolls Royce. Rolls Royce are huge too. That thing was like a, they say this a lot, but it's like a boat on wheels. It's gigantic. It's so wide and it's like super, it's just like probably weighs like two tons if, if not more than that. But uh, yeah, it was pretty cool to see that, I guess. But yeah, I should have looked at who was driving it. But yeah, so I'm just stuck in traffic, figured, hey, what a perfect time for a vlog. It's not like I'm driving at 80 miles an hour. Not that you should drive at 80 miles an hour anyway, because that's exceeding the speed limit. And that's bad. Because 65 is how fast you should be going. But I mean, I guess if everybody... See, that might, that's probably the thing, though. If you're going 65 the whole time, you never have to stop for traffic. Nobody ever messes up and goes too fast and then makes messes stuff up and creates a traffic jam. Then I bet it might be... It would probably be faster than going 80 sometimes and hitting traffic if you went 65 the entire time, never slowed down, and were just able to go 65 the entire time you were on the freeway and never had to slow down below that. Because, I mean, that's how, always how it seems to work, because it's like, oh, oh, good, I'm moving in a nice, like, clip. I can move quickly and just sort of go with the traffic. And then, oh, no, traffic. Oh, there it is. It stopped. Now I'm going 40 miles an hour. And, uh... What good is that doing me? I could be going 65. I'll be all the way up there, three miles ahead. But uh, that's that's just too much math and problem solving to figure out those sorts of numbers. Ha! Who wants to do that? Lame. But yeah, uh, not much to report. You know, just woke up like half an hour ago. No, like an hour ago maybe. Haven't done much of anything. Just showered, grabbed my bowling ball, and headed out. Woo! Yep. I have a bowling ball. No big deal. No, I didn't buy it though. I got it for free. That's the thing. Because I don't know if I would ever have bought a bowling ball because they're pretty expensive. And to get a nice one, you have to spend like two, three hundred dollars. That's a lot of money for a bowling ball. But uh, my dad has been going to this uh, bakery to get donuts every single week for years. And uh, there's this older guy who used to bowl professionally who had like just tons of bowling balls that he's either won or that he used to use, but he only uses like a couple of different balls now and he's got like, I don't know, he had like 10. He had a lot of them. And so he ended up just giving me and my dad free bowling balls. So we went out and just bought a bag and some shoes to go with it. 
And I mean, that was probably about a hundred bucks for the balls, for the bag and the shoes. But I mean, that's not bad. A hundred bucks and you get a bowling ball, shoes and a bag. I mean, and we like bowling. So that's something that my dad and I will normally do together. We'll go out and we'll go bowling. So that's always fun. So it was worth it to have just for those occasions when you want to go bowling and you're like, oh good, I don't have to use the nasty one that thousands of people have stuck their nasty, germy, disgusting fingers into and then who knows. Because I mean, everybody just bowls with bowling balls and you never think about the fact that how many people have stuck their fingers in those holes. Do they clean them? I doubt it. Nobody's going to clean all those bowling balls. But uh, maybe they do. I don't know. I've never asked. But uh, that'd be nice if they did. Like, probably wouldn't be that much work to throw some soapy water or some Germex inside of them every once in a while, but whatever, or Purell, whatever, scrubbing alcohol in general. But uh, yeah, so, uh, you know, finally starting to move, how much faster than 60? Woohoo, I'm almost going the speed limit. Awesome, I love almost going the speed limit. Uh, but yeah, so I think that's it. I will see you guys tomorrow. Tomorrow, uh, no. I love you tomorrow, it's only a day away. <laughs> Alright, so long guys. Bye-bye.